at this point, I'm sure we can all, all agree that AI is pretty bloody terrible. Now, this is a AI reinterpretation of Star Wars A New Hope in 1950s Super Panavision style. So, without further ado, let's find out if Star Wars A New Hope 1950s AI version is my kind of weird. Now, I would consider myself a lifelong Star Wars fan. Um, you know, I've seen all of the Star Wars films many times over, but as a kid, I feel like I saw A New Hope maybe at least a couple of hundred times. I've seen, you know, the original theatrical versions. I've seen the versions that uh, came out with the added CGI. I've seen the extended cuts that didn't have the CGI. I've seen the extended cuts that did have the CGI. So I would uh, move your honour to... Um, the motion that I am a lifelong Star Wars fan. Now, AI is pretty bloody terrible. Uh, I think we can all agree with that. I mean, even when it comes to the uh, you know the art, anyone who can honestly say that AI art is bigger than art created by a human, they've um they're a bit bloody bananas, if you ask me. So let's get stuck into this artwork oh i don't even think we can call it artwork now if you want to use ai to for you to chat gpt to make your boring office job a little bit easier and to get through things a lot quicker than be my guest just keep it away from movie, movies keep it away from comics keep it away from art and music in general so without further ado let's get stuck into star wars a New Hope, 1950s Super Panavision. In a galaxy far, far away, an evil force tightens its grip. The Empire reigns with fear, led by the menacing figure of Darth Vader, a dark enforcer whose cruelty knows no bounds. But in the shadows, a spark of hope remains. Princess Leia, a bold leader of the Rebellion, has secured the secret plans to the Empire's deadliest weapon, the fearsome Death Star. The fate of the galaxy now rests in the hands of an unlikely hero, Luke Skywalker, a farm boy yearning for adventure beyond the stars. Guided by the wisdom of Obi-Wan Kenobi, a Jedi Knight from a forgotten age, Luke sets off on a daring mission to rescue the princess <laughs> and ignite the fight for freedom. But they won't face the Empire alone. Han Solo, a smooth-talking smuggler with a quick trigger, and his loyal companion Chewbacca, the galaxy's finest hyperdrive specialist, join the cause aboard the Millennium Falcon, a ship fast enough to outrun anyone or anything. The Empire is closing in. Darth Vader, relentless and unstoppable, will stop at nothing to crush the rebellion once and for all. From the ashes, hope ascends like a blazing phoenix, reborn to challenge the darkness. With breathtaking space battles, heart-stopping lightsaber duels, and moments of unexpected twists, this is a tale of heroism, friendship, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. As the galaxy teeters on the edge of darkness, can this unlikely band of heroes rise to the challenge? Will the light of hope shine through the Empire's shadow? Join Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, and their allies as they battle the greatest threat the galaxy has ever known. This is a fight for the future, where legends are born and destinies are fulfilled. Prepare for an adventure unlike any other. Don't miss Star Wars, A New Hope. The battle for the galaxy begins soon. Why? Why do we need as a little that bonus, even? I'd like to introduce you to someone new in the Empire. Commander Vex is the Empire's deadliest distraction. Of course she is. Armed with precision blasters and, well, some killer curves, she doesn't just take down rebels with looks that could disarm even the toughest bounty hunters and a swagger that's hotter than a twin sun. Vex has got a talent for making enemies forget why they're even fighting. Your support, <laughs> whether through likes, comments, or just watching, means so much to me. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Oh my 
my god. That's just... That's just... <laughs> Firstly, why does C-3PO need lips? Um, I, I didn't ask for that. I'm pretty sure none of you asked for that. Just like we didn't ask for Vex, even though... I mean, that little tidbit at the end introducing Vex is just proof that this, that AI, you know, film is just for, you know, sad little dudes that need to get their rocks off on something. I mean, AI movies at this point with um, girls that look like that is really just a modern day version of when I used to download, download hentai and, you know, get my rocks off over some, you know, tentacle, sorry, tentacle corn, as we need to say on YouTube. Um, so, yeah. I mean, overall, the artwork was quite terrible. It was, gave me something great to have a chuckle at. Here's the thing. With AI art, especially when it's presented like this, it's it's kind of hopeless in a way because it doesn't really give us a consistent approach or view at what they're trying to sell us and they're trying to sell us on you know ai art being amazing and jaw droppingly you know drool inducing but the thing is i think um darth vader and luke skywalker in that changed about five or six or seven different times the um the Millennium Falcon looked like it had a, like a Star Trek Voyager prompt for some reason. It just looked nothing like the Millennium Falcon. As far as from a 1950s aesthetic, I didn't really feel it except for maybe how um, how like Grand Moff Tarkin and how uh, C-3PO looked. It kind of got that sort of forbidden planet kind of vibe with with C-3PO. But otherwise, uh, quite horrible, uh, quite terrible, and, you know, very much a waste of my time uh, and everyone else's time. But that's why I'm here, to laugh at the AI so that you don't have to, or so that you can enjoy it. So if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss this one or any other ones like this. But for now, my name's Anthony from My Kind of Weird, and you'll see me in the next video.